Hello. So in this video, we are going to talk about themes in Drupal or a theme with respect to a content management system. Now, we had discussed about the theme recently when we discussed about blocks and regions. So as the name suggests, theme is basically a complete set of color combinations, text and other things that you see on your website or website which is based on a content management system like for example you might have noticed there are theme parties so if there is a theme party which is like having a formal dress code so everyone will wear suits black and white and so on then uh, there could be a theme for let's say a kid's birthday party a jungle theme so we are expecting the kids to dress up as uh, different animals and all and uh, the decoration will relate to the same the cake would be a jungle theme and so on. So basically when we talk about theme, it is all about the color combination, the background look and feel throughout the website we are able to change. So theme provides us that mechanism to change this look and feel very, very easily. So in a content management system like Drupal, there is a Drupal core which basically communicates with the database and does all the CRUD operations, what we usually refer as create, retrieve, update, delete. But whatever this create, retrieve, which is to be done, it needs an interface and that interface is provided via a theme. So if you want to understand technically, a theme basically consists of set of template files, which are usually created with PHP, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and other combinations. That's a technical part. You can create a theme, but the idea behind a content management system of utilizing a theme is that you should be able to change the look and feel of your website without much of the problem. Now, based on the theme, like we have seen in this case, we have a sidebar, header section, footer section and social bar and so on. These are the areas where we can put our content. And as you can see in most of the pages, how our content comes up like in this particular format the fonts and other things are also decided background color and header colors are decided in certain themes there is a support for slogan so uh, this is the name of our website and then we can have a slogan some of the themes will let you have your logo over here so those kind of things are there so how do we add a new theme into our website so first thing is you will need to download a suitable theme for which you can go to Drupal's website and here you can search for themes. So go to the Drupal's website and under build, you can go to themes. Fine. From the themes, you can search a theme from here. Here you will notice there are so many uh, options that you can filter out your themes. So one options that we will select is works with Drupal 10 and make sure no other themes come up which are not suitable and here you can go through different themes and look for them like some of them are saying that we are actively looking for sponsors maintainers and all so based on your understanding look for a theme which is suitable for you like for this a demonstration i have selected this zero point theme fine where you can see who the maintainers are this is a very nice theme. You can have a basic idea of the theme by looking at its demo image provided. Fine. Okay. I think I closed that particular one. So let's search for that theme again. Zero point. Here is the theme. Okay. Now here they I have provided a demo also so you can check out if this particular demo still is available. Okay, so here they have provided this demo from that particular theme. Fine. So maybe we could set up our site which could look like this. Now, the theme features are provided one, two, three column layout, which is adjustable. 15 block regions are there, 11 color styling, theming options are there, and so many other things are provided over here. Now, 
the theme you should check out one thing whether it depends on anything else or not sometimes some themes are based on some other existing theme so you have to make sure that it should not happen so here this theme 8 8x which is there which is released on 28th august works with drupal 8.9 above 9.3 above and 10 above so we can download this particular theme so let's go for this <laughs> i will download this tar file i'll let's download this so this theme is downloaded now now what is to be done how do we install this theme so go to the appearance section now in appearance section you will find that there is something called as installed theme so two themes are already installed and one is set as default so the one which is showing here is set as default this is administration theme as i had mentioned earlier also so one theme is set for administration so the ones which are showing set as default these can be set and uninstalled themes are the themes which you have downloaded into your Drupal structure but not enabled them fine <coughs> this is where you can set the administration theme so i'm not going to change that now if we would be on a proper setup or a server we could upload a theme from here or we could directly provide that particular url fine so obviously if i copy this link and paste it over here i can try but my assumption is that this is not going to work so it asks me a lot of settings so let's leave that on an actual web server you will be able to do this directly you will be able to copy this information so let's try to browse and see if we can get this theme we have just downloaded so zero point let's try open and continue so okay i'll have to remove this let's try it again browse zero point so it says either of it has to be provided again it's asking me for ftp settings and all so this is giving me some trouble on my local setup which i have not bothered to do much about it right now so now this is the interface with which you can upload your themes if this does not work then what we are going to do so uh, dependent upon what you are using uh, on a real server or something just go to the location where your drupal is installed and in the drupal root you will see there is a directory or folder called as themes so there are two folders one is inside a uh, core fine inside core there is a themes this themes is the part of drupal core so we are not going to disturb this section user added themes will go over here fine because usually whenever we update this core and vendor is deleted now i'll go to themes and i will copy that particular uh, theme over here fine so let's go to this location where i have downloaded the theme and let's look for that here this is zero point let's copy this theme and let's go to themes of my drupal installation paste it here interestingly they provide a readme every directory has a readme and it has a very good explanation so when you are learning drupal you should get into a habit of reading things so if you read this they are telling you a lot about that fine placing downloaded and custom themes are to be put over here so that your core and drupal is uh, core drupal and your uploaded stuff is separate fine <coughs> now just placing this is not going to help i have to extract it here so let's extract it here now this can be deleted so i'll delete it because i already have a copy of it so this theme is now added over here so let's go back to our drupal thing and now again go to appearance and we should see the theme showing up over here fine now i can install this theme which will make it readily available over here so that i can switch or i can install and set default so i will do it as install and set default 
fine so installation basically does some work in the background so copying is not just installation whenever you copy or you use the interface which i had just shown you you will be basically adding the theme and installing is making it available fine now this is enabled now let's go back to our website and see how this looks now here the whole website look is completely changed fine uh, the primary menu links are showing up over here here there is a slider provided by the theme right which i'll be able to change fine then login logout box is here search box is here what else is there there is this has gone here you can see and then this is the sidebar fine there is a sidebar coming up and there is a shortcut to add contents this is coming up because i am logged in as admin this is our home page fine what about the other pages that we had created let's uh, have a look at that we had created some pages like cms and uh, media wiki let's see how the article page looks like so this is how the article page looks like now this is quite different than how it was looking on our previous setup okay now whatever theme you have it has a lot of settings which you can go to appearance and go to the settings of that theme so here in zero point you have some page elements use pictures and so on load image use the logo supplied by the theme you can change the logo like by disabling this you could change a logo for your company right now i leave it use a favorite icon favorite icon is this icon which shows up over here then there is some pure css settings now you will have to do some study about what functionality the theme is providing then layout settings layout setting there are some colors so by default right now our theme here we can see is having some particular color the default is ink so we can change this to let us say orange font family you can set right let's try changing the font family font size normal large let's say we want a large themed block sidebars if you don't want theme blocks you can change it so block icon size this icons which are showing up these are the block icons which you can set so we don't want block icons i will set then main and secondary menus it is centered let's make it left search is icon button or none if you want we can set these things from here some other options are there header image rotator if you want that header image rotator you can set it from here red comes and so many other settings are there okay so you can play around with the different settings of your themes save it and you can just go back to your site reload it and see what happens now you can see this is in a complete different color okay or complete settings the font has changed this color combination has changed we removed that icon from here we we'll set this over here and so on so that's the basic idea behind a the theme you can control the complete look and feel of your website certain themes may give you more functionality some of them may give you lesser functionality but one point to remember is while working with themes is that what happens is when you change a theme if the same sidebars uh, top bars and other sections are not similar or some of them are missing your settings might change that means if i had set some links on left sidebar over here and now here it is not having a left sidebar and the sidebar is on the right side so it may not show up so that that thing you will have to change the settings again so this is about this basic themes and how to set the themes fine finally you if you don't want the theme you can change back to the other theme and then you can remove the theme by setting it to uninstall like this is now not in use fine so you i'm getting a uninstall option once you uninstall it the themes which you have put you can delete it from here if you don't want it so that's the basic idea behind themes and uh, you can check out what available themes are there there are some 
free themes there are paid themes and other options are also available so in next video we are going to talk about modules and i'll demonstrate one simple module to you